Let us call upon Sayyid Ali Hussain and Musa Hashim on the stage and see what they have for us. In the words of Edward Teller, science of today is technology of tomorrow. It is hard to imagine our lives without technology. Indeed, one's existence is dependent on it. Nowadays, new technologies are coming up which are making humans' life much more easier and comfortable. Indeed, we live in an era of science and technology. Let us welcome the students of class 7 and 8 to enact a skit throwing light on the evolution of science and technology. And again, a huge round of applause maybe will help the students. I know you people will get tired of it, but I think that this is what they need and this is what you people are here for. For the encouragement and the motivation. So upset. No news from my family. A week ago I had written the letter but haven't received any reply. Don't worry dear. After few weeks the letter delivered to the father. In the previous generation letter was the only source of communication. Now in the second scene we will see that how the telephone became the source of communication. Mother is waiting for the phone call. Hello? Wrong number.
Mama, I want food. Hello, Dad. How are you? I missed you. After the admission of telephone by Graham Bell, it made easy for the loved ones to connect with their families. Now, in the third scene, we will see that how the communication became easy and convenient. Mother is on the video call with her husband and children are excited and waving her to their father. After the invention of mobile phone by John F. Mitchell, it made easy to connect virtually. Now, in the second phase, we will see that how simple mathematical problems became difficult. Let's see some evolution in steam of computers. Oh dear, it is too difficult to find the sum of two numbers. Yeah, it is taking too much time and it is very tedious work. Let us write a request later to the lady at the Lovelace. The assistant will request the programmer to help him to solve the problem. After a few days, she arrived to the research work center. As per previous generation, computers were time consuming and less portable than high level languages. Oh, now our work has become so easy and fast. We should include these computers in other departments also. Yes, yes, we also want computers in our school. Yes, yes, we also want computers in our hospitals. With the advancement in technology, the demand of computers increased. Now, everybody is busy in using computer which made their work more easy and faster in every field. There is no need of any special person to solve the simple problems. It carries emotions. It carries the joy of moving forward. It carries the thrill of speed. Trains are a reminder that life is always on the go. Railways are the cheapest mode of transportation for carrying people and living good over long distances. Let's take you the journey of evolutions in train. Oh, it is the only train in this month. Hurry up, hurry up. Don't worry, we will get the train. We are on time. Steam engine was invented by James Watt in 1769. A steam engine is huge, heavy, has low efficiency, does not start at once, its overload capacity is large, which reduces the animal workload. by Rudolf Diesel. It requires less maintenance and have a long lifespan. They are more reliable and durable than other engine types. Diesel costs more engines can be slightly noisier. Produces lot of nitrogen dioxide. Oh, it's so hot today. Yes, it's so hot. Oh, I'll pay a night on time. Oh yeah, let's catch the train. New Delhi, Central, Junction, In 1925, electric engine was invented by Robert Davidson. They were cleaner, quieter, and there is no need to refuel. They cost less to maintain than steam or diesel. This is not just India's success, but success for all of humanity. And this achievement is not just ours, but it's dedicated to the world. Let's take you and our curious audience with the dark side of the moon by narrating the story of Mission Chandrayaan 3. Let's see the evolution of ISRO. Finally, by God's grace, we made our first Chandrayaan. Congratulations. But now, how we should carry this Chandrayaan to the launching station? 
What is this? It looks like a rocket cracker. But how they will carry this? I don't know. Idea. On 22nd of October 2008, ISRO launched its first important mission, Chandrayaan. Chandrayaan had discovered many mysterious things and found the presence of water on the moon. Scientists waiting and watching the Chandrayaan reaching towards the surface of the moon. On July 22, 2019, ISRO launched its second mission, Chandrayaan 2. The Krim crashed into the surface of the moon. Chandrayaan launched its connectivity at 2.01 km away from the surface of the moon. Chandrayaan 3 is a follow-on mission to Chandrayaan 2. On 14 July 2023, ISRO launched its third mission, Chandrayaan, with Vikram Lander and Pragyan Rover on board. The main aim of this generation is to land safely and softly on the surface of the moon. However, on 23 August 2023 at 6.4 pm, the Vikram lander gently touched down the moon's surface perfectly. It felt like the moon itself was given a warm hug to the spacecraft. On behalf of all of us, I send our heartiest congratulations to all the scientists and engineers at ISRO. India has consolidated its position as a global space bar. India's rising position stands out as a beacon of hope for the world. Today, I extend my deepest gratitude to all those who have contributed to the growth, peace and prosperity of our nation, fulfilling the dreams and aspirations of millions of Indians. Science leads the way by creating knowledge from nature and technology, followed by applying this knowledge to the creation of new things. Life is always changing, but sometimes we face a big or sudden. Hence, to the moon and back room, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our little scientists.